Well, hello, welcome back to another video. Now today, first time out on the smash vessel with Jay. Hopefully we get a few, eh, Hopefully mate? we get a few fish. We're going to be going out and doing a bit of We're anything. going for anything, pretty yeah. much, yeah. So might throw some lures somewhere, try for bass or pollock or something like that, and then maybe head to the banks later on, try for a turbot. That's it. Yeah. So we're about to uh, leave the mooring now, get out on the open sea. Hopefully we'll find some fish. Right, so we've arrived at one of the banks now. Um, we headed north, but it was a little choppy, wasn't it? Yeah. So we decided to come straight to the bank, try for a flatty. Just got the rods out. Rod, uh, Jay's getting his bait down first. I've got my rod ready to go. So we'll be using just mackerel baits, and hopefully we can find some fish. Yeah, the problem with the boat spinning, it tangles the lines up. Yeah. Pain in the ass. Yeah. Especially when you're both using braid as well. Yeah. Oh, it's just a snippy job, eh? Yeah. There we go. Jace just had a drop with the mackerel feathers. Got a few, a few fresh mackerel there. Some nice ones there as well, eh? Yeah. Nice bit of bait. Yep. Ready for the turbo. Turbot and didn't realize he had it on. <laughs> first drift. Well done, mate. That's it. Oh, it's a little, little ditty one, but it's a turbot. <laughs> Check this out, guys. First drift. Cal's got himself a lovely little turbot. I won't handle it. It's his fish, but happy days, mate. What a beauty. Little baby turbot. Well, first drift, and we got our first fish. <laughs> now, we, to be honest, we were just reeling up to move and uh, as I brought it up about halfway I could feel a bit of weight on it and we got ourselves a little turbo I'm just get the hook out there we go there we are lovely little fish eh lovely little turbo there obviously too small to keep but a great start eh yeah br brilliant mate lovely first fish. drift and we got a turby yeah beautiful hopefully his great grandma comes out <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him back in the water. First fish of a trip, first drop. Little turbot there. But we'll get him back in, back in and go up for another drift. <laughs> so we've just come up for another drift there's the bait that that little turbot took as you can see it's pretty much untouched what i'm using is 6-0 hook and uh, we've got an eight ounce watch lead obviously a boom and a big long running trace so we're going to drop these back down see if we can find some more fish oh well there's fish down there for sure right eh? quite a few eh Bites like this already. We'll come straight down the side of the bank this time as well. So next time we'll go further in a bit. So we've been drifting around for a while now. We've just come up for a, uh, a new drift on the bank now we've had about half a dozen dogfish and as that tide slackened off the fishing has slowed right down hence all the dogfish yeah literally yeah. but we got fresh baits down hoping for another flatty we've had a few miss hits here and there which could, could, have been, could eh? well have been turbot but you never know until you hook one um, so yeah we're going to carry on with this drift and if we get any more fish we'll uh, put the camera back on you'll be the first to know Thank <laughs> you. 
Fish on, guys. I think it's a tote. I'm pretty sure it's a tote. You want me to bring mine in? Yeah. We're going to get tangled. This could snap off at any time. Get ready for the lunge. Oh, I don't you want to go. You're not allowed. <laughs> Came out of nowhere, eh? Yeah. Just started screaming off, eh? This is a good fish, guys. This is a rod bender. You watch it be a cod or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's not running, though. I'm a bit curious why it's not running. You want to get that net ready, mate? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, she goes. Here she goes. See colour soon, guys. Got bend on the rod. This is a good tote. Come on! It's gonna go mental when it gets to the front. She oh, she's a big boy. Can you grab that trace? Yeah. Got no more of a muffin left. Make sure you don't wrap your hands, alright mate? She's a bowl. Nothing straight away? Yeah, yeah, straight head first. Oh, yeah baby! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! Oh, that there you go, straight in. That's a 25 pounder. Come on, cow, use the guns. <laughs> you are bad boy. Ah, lovely tote. There we go. Tote down. That was a fight. The legs, alright? Whoa. Got it. I got it. So there you go, guys. Check that out for a fish. What a beautiful tote. Big male. That's what you want. That's a rod bender right there. First shark on the smash vessel. And she's a corker. I'd give that about 20, 25 pound, I reckon. Still, lovely fish. Let's get it back. Come on, ball. <laughs> so we're back in the bay now come off the banks start to get a little bit choppy out there so we decided to make a move now where uh, we may have anticipated or mis <laughs> misinterpreted the tide a little bit a little bit <laughs> actually uh, low tide an hour later than we thought so we can't get into the uh, the inshore mooring at the moment so what we've done jay's got a uh, mooring on the outside of the bay we've moored up here and we're just going to chuck a lure about see if we can find a fish to pass a bit of time till we can get in now i've got with me today i've got a brand new uh, lure rod which i've not used yet it's a savage gear sgs2 seven foot five to 45 gram and on there i've also got brand new reels the uh, shimano vanford 4000 and as you can see just put a little scary on there the candy king let's flick this out and see if we can find any fish got a nice bit of reef here lots of uh, sandy patches so it's worth a go
So back on dry land now. Well, I am anyway. Just walking over to meet Jay. He's uh, pulled into his mooring and he's gonna row his little dinghy ashore. He just dropped me off at the pier. I've got rid of all the bags in the car. And now I'll go help him with the dinghy. But it was a fun little day out. Um, it was nice weather all together. It did get a little bit choppy here and there, but um, apart from that, it was fairly pleasant. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have many fish uh, we were fishing over slack water a lot of the time, so uh, the tide just died completely. Now we caught maybe seven or eight dogfish. Um, I don't think I filmed any of them because there's not too much point. So he had that one little turbot, but then Jay had a really nice tope at the end. Probably a good 25 pound tope. So uh, that was a good way to end the session. So I'm going to meet him now. We'll bring the dinghy up and then we're going to be heading home. So this is Jay's boat just out here in front of my finger. Now uh, he's got an Orkney 16, I believe. He's only recently got it, had it in the water about a month or six weeks. Really nice boat to fish from, plenty of room on it. Ideal for two people. So yeah, he's still on board now, just getting the final pieces off, and then he'll be on shore. <laughs> Back on dry land. Yeah, can't even keep my feet in the boat. 